Hey, hey, crafty friends, it's Diane with Bean Street Paper, and it's time for another 10 Minute Tuesday. So this might just look like a bunch of scrappy pieces of paper laying around, and you're right, it is. Now, I want to talk to you today about using a standard number six envelope. Now, some of you may know what I'm talking about. You have a legal envelope that most bills come in, and then you have this is a number six envelope, which measures six and a half by three and five eighths. And we used to send mail in these, um, but not too many people do it anymore. However, these make cute mini slimline type cards and they are great for using up scraps. And they are awesome uh, because you can just find these in any office supply store and they're super, super cheap. Now these, I. I happened to order from Amazon and and let me tell you um I like these a lot because they're like for you to put your donations in at church and stuff like that um but they have a super big flap in the back which is almost as big as the front of the envelope so if you like to decorate your envelopes that is awesome so without further ado, I'm going to get started here and we're just going to kind of wing it today um, because I need to run to the store. Um, I am fostering a new kitten who has um, kind of a, a leg with some nerve damage. So eventually she's going to be a tripod, but someone decided to kill the internet today. So I have to run and get a new internet cable. So um, I think I'm headed out to Walmart. So let's talk about this card here. This card base is simply a piece of scrap cardstock that I have um, that I cut down. I cut it down to six and a quarter by seven. Uh, and I scored it on the seven inch side at three and a half. So that, that's my card base, okay? And then this is going to be inside, so, because you know you can't write on a dark color. Um, this guy measures six by three and a quarter, and I'm going to glue him. Actually, no, you know what I'm not going to do? We're going to stamp first. Let's stamp. Uh, I have this stamp set, which I love, this flower. Uh, so I am going to do some stamping with this flower on the corner of my... Um, insert there as soon as I find my doohickey. Oh, here it is right in front of my face. Y'all, I'm losing my mind. This kitten is got me running, running ragged, running ragged. She's a little calico and she is, that leg does not slow her down at all. Um, so there's that. So I'm just going to take my stamp and what I'm going to do is stamp, uh, with this ink in the corner. Isn't that pretty? I love it. I love it so much. Um, I don't know. Do I want to stamp in this corner? I think I do. I think I do. There. I think that's gorgeous. And you can put a sentiment or you have some room to write. So I like that a whole lot. Now, this is kind of what I... I'm not going to stamp, but we are going to glue that inside. Um, kind of what I was thinking for a layout. Let me get this guy on here so we can get started doing our outside. Um, this is going to go inside, right? Centered, centered in the middle. Very pretty. Okay. And then this is what I'm thinking for my outside. So I have a ton of three by four scraps and I'm just going to glue this scrap right here. Okay. Easy peasy. I'm going to make this as easy peasy as possible. Stamping in one color, using up scraps of paper. I also like this side, which maybe I'll make another one in that side, but I wanted some white to lighten up my card okay so there now 
That's again, just a three by four piece of scrap that I had in my bin. This is um, a three and a quarter by four inch piece of scrap that I had in my bin that just so happens to match. And I'm gonna put that right here. But first, I wanna do some stamping on this white piece, which is gonna go right here, which is uh, three and an eighth by three and seven eighths. I'll put all these measurements down below. Y'all don't have to remember this. No big deal, right? Okay, so uh, let me put this down because what I wanna do with this one is stamp off because I don't want my flower to be quite as dark as that. So I'm gonna stamp off. And there, that's pretty, isn't it? Same thing, I'm gonna do uh, both sides. Okay, and then I think I'm, I'm pretty much done with my flower. Um, and I'm gonna take this guy and glue it to the mat right here. Okay. Okay. We're done stamping with colored ink. Well, I am anyway. You guys can. Uh, you guys can change this up however you oh you like. I'm a mess. See, look at that. I am a mess now. I want to set. Set these two things under here for a minute while I get a black stamp pad. Hold on just a second. And I'm gonna use my big fat archival ink stamp pad because it's nice and juicy and I like nice and juicy. And I am going to use this stamp set and I think I've been using this a lot. So I think I'm gonna use, I'm just so happy for you. Um, I really like that one. So, the thank you is also nice. Let me see. Let me see what I got here. Let me see what we got going on here. That's going to cover my flower. It'll be okay though, because I stamped off. So let's do that. I am going to get my scrap paper. So I can test out my stamp here before I go stamping it on my card. I want to make sure it's nice and juicy. Perfect. All right, so that's going to go right pop in the middle of this right here. Perfect. All right, let me close that before I make a mess. I'm gonna glue this to the front and we are almost done with this card. If you're enjoying this quick and easy 10 minute Tuesday video, please subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up. That's how we stay relevant in the algorithm. Um, and I'm just gonna put this guy, I want it to go to the edge because the other side went to the edge. I'm just gonna put that right here and put that down. All right, so we are done with our card. We're gonna find some bling. I'm gonna probably use clear rhinestones for this and just kind of dot them around here. So there you have it. Go forth and be crafty, my friends. Uh, I'm gonna put Medium size, I think. I like the mediums. So, maybe I'll put a big one over here. Super easy mini slimline card. Fits right in this number six envelope that I bought at the store. And you're ready to rock and roll and send some happy mail. Have a great day, y'all. Bye for now.